morning. So I'm here with Osman from The Game Company. Uh, occasionally you get crazy entrepreneurs that want to build highly scalable products in huge markets. This company is one of them. So I wanted to find out more about what they're up to and when things launch and uh, the product itself. Morning, Osman. How are you doing? Good morning. Thank you for having me here. So maybe you can tell us about yourself just to start, start with. Okay. So I'm a bit of a serial entrepreneur. So I had this company that I run for a good 10 years. That got merged into one of the largest BPOs uh, in uh, America, having a footprint in Asia as well. Uh, I had around about 300 employees working for me at that time. Wow. Uh, then I joined one of their sister concerns by the name of Ibex, um, and I was leading the sales for them in that region. Uh, phenomenal growth altogether for that company at that time, the four years that I was there. We grew from a few thousand people to tens and thousands of people in that span of time. Um, then I joined another sister concern of theirs by the name of Affinity. It's an AI-based firm. Um, so um, I was vice president sales for the region. The idea was to be part of that global revenue team uh, to you know hook up all the top telcos around the world and obviously pump up the valuation and all that. So um, the last private valuation was north of 2.1 billion dollars for uh, the company. Still hold a bit of uh, employee equity with them. Um, fast forward that, uh, last year, going back to my entrepreneurial roots, um, I was toying with a particular idea that I've been thinking about for quite some time now. So I reached out to quite a few experts last year in terms of AI cloud-based gaming. Uh, formulated a pretty decent team over the last year, raised um, uh, an interesting $5 million on a $40 million valuation as well. Uh, so that's the journey started from Dubai mainland, and now we are here. Yeah. So what made you want to deal with like cloud gaming? Are you a passionate gamer? Yeah, absolutely. That, that's one part of it. And obviously, uh, in terms of the technologies, uh, what we are doing, we are in the right mix uh, in terms of AI, machine learning, Web3. So if you name all these um, top technology, cutting-edge technologies, it's, it's an amalgamation of all that right now. And if you talk about the actual product itself, um, so the idea behind that is, you know, totally revolutionized how actually gaming is being done uh, around the globe, right? So um, generally, if you see, people require, you know, uh, clunky hardware or high internet to play these games. Whereas in our case, you can actually play the game from anywhere, anytime using an internet-enabled device, and um, that's it. Because if you see, if there are total esports users in the world, they're around about 3.3 billion and growing, of course. On the flip side, if you see the hardware consoles that are sold every year in the vicinity of 40 to 60 million, so there's a big disparity in terms of the hardware and the appetite or the target audience that we have. That's kind of been bridged by people buying these expensive rigs and PCs and laptops with pumped up with you know GPUs and all that, but that cost north of three to four thousand dollars. Whereas in our case, on a fraction of that amount on monthly basis, you can have access to top AAA games. Uh, you can play it virtually from anywhere. Low requirement in terms of internet usage. So virtually, you can play on the go from anywhere in the world as well, as long as they are decent enough internet. You can play it with your eight-year-old laptop even, or on a mobile device, or for that matter, on your LED TV as well, right? So just imagine you are making it more inclusive and diverse uh, at the end of the day, right? I've had a sneak look at the product, right? And you know, I actually brought my uh, expert research analyst here, my three boys, <laughs> to play, you know? And you know, concept-wise, it sounds it sounds a big thing, right? The execution, I was very surprised about when they uh, started playing one of the games. Was that they started smiling? I knew at that point it was like a win. Um, but the experience from a user perspective is going to be like stepping into a Netflix account, right? And then you choose which game you're going to play, right? And then you basically competing the same way that you would be competing against a kid in South Korea on the latest piece of kit. You know, if you're in Zambia playing on an eight-year-old laptop, right, you're going to be able to play um, the sort of same same edge in the game, right? Whether it's Fortnite, whether it's you know Call of Duty. Yeah, absolutely. We actually 
evening the odds for everyone, right? So regardless of your gaming condition, uh, you can actually have the same gaming experience at the end of the day. And the best part, it's not just the gaming experience. There's a huge opportunity to earn as well because the ecosystem is based on Web3. So you play Web2 games, Web3 games, but because of the tournament aspect attached to it, so essentially there's an opportunity to play games anywhere from the world, plus also earn from the same mechanism as well. I mean, we're still early into Web3 games, right? So this product initially is really, really targeted at the Web2 game market, you know, all the big brands, right? Mm -hmm. So as long as anybody have a Epic Store account or a Steam account, they can easily bring all those games and play uh, on our system. It's like a rig in the air, right? But better performance at the end of the day because based on our proprietary technology, we are actually reducing the requirement to play these games, whether that be the internet requirement, whether uh, the quality of game or uh, low latency. So overall game experience is enhanced in that way. And um, it's all about ensuring that, you know, the overall gameplay is something that you really uh, cherish because gamers are very picky about the entire experience, right? It can't be, oh, it's good at one time and, you know, leaning out at the end. It has to be consistency. That's where our technology and AI and machine learning comes into play. You know, obviously the gaming market's huge. Was it like four or five hundred billion? It's going to be by 2025, right? Um, you're going to bring in potentially a lot more new users and emerging markets into it. Yeah. Uh, how's your relationship or what do you want your relationship to be like with the, the gaming company? So it seems like you're going to attract a lot more audience. So if you see the overall uh, ecosystem of the gaming world, right, we are actually essentially building our own target audience as well whether that be Africa, Philippine, Asia, even the new gaming hubs or the old gaming hubs as well. So we essentially are generating the next million customer for any of these top AAA labels. And for that matter, any uh, game label right now. So there's a huge opportunity for them as well to sync us with their uh, growth strategy as well because we, you know, at the end of the day, are an enabler for them because at the end of the day, those users might never be on their radar because of limitations of hardware or internet, whereas in our case, in our case it's something that, you know, uh, they have access to this big pool of users. So it's a win-win from both sides, right? Is there any competition currently on this? Okay, everyone would like to say there's no competition. Obviously, there are some similarities on and off, but we have huge edge uh, on quite a few fronts as well. Uh, we have a couple of patent pending as well right now, so we have that part covered. At the same time, we have seen there have been uh, esports platform, cloud platform, but in bits and pieces in terms of, uh, you know, they have limitation in terms of scalability or either having a Web3 element attached to it. Uh, that's not an issue for us. We essentially can launch in almost all parts of the world right now because we are cloud agnostic, we, uh, whether that be AWS, whether that be Google, whether that be Tencent Cloud, we have these partnerships that we are working on uh, where we are fostering a uh, localized relationship as well. So based on the user proximity, we are really enhancing the experience. So virtually any place where there's a decent enough internet, not as high as majority of the cloud gaming platforms ask for, and even if you have any machine, laptop, or a, a tablet, or a mobile phone, or a TV that works, you are playing your favorite game there. The strategy, I think, is B2C initially, but obviously there's like you know, packages with telcos, and uh, you guys have great relationship with telcos, so that would be like an add-on into, you know, example, Etisalat, or you know, British Telecom, Vodafone. Is that the plan, longer term, you'll have a... So, Keeping, taking a leaf out of my previous life in terms of what we've been doing with all these telcos. Uh, so we have very strong relationships uh, with the top uh, MNOs in the world. Um, and it's not just the MNOs, uh, anybody that has a sizable user base uh, has a potential to monetize their user base through us. Uh, so we are fostering a lot of uh, partnerships on that end. And pretty soon in the next few weeks, you'll be hearing some good news around that as well. And the best part is not just focus on one particular region. It's every single, uh, you know, MNO that has this challenge, and that's a very strong challenge, whether how to sell their data packages, right? 
we are one of the strong use cases for them, where we really would be uh, uptaking their ARPU levels, more uses for their users, and solving one of the biggest use cases for the 4G and 5G enabled nets, that is having an excellent gaming experience. So we're checking all the right boxes there. So what's the plans like zero to six months, um, you know, on a sort of, you know, tournaments, et cetera? Obviously, there's going to be a lot of people who want to get involved in one of your tournaments. Yeah. So um, at the moment, uh, what the plan is, uh, we are launching in the next quarter, uh, mid-next quarter to be exact. Uh, there's going to be a global launch. Uh, we've already planned out our entire business strategy around that. It's going to be targeting um, some massive user bases for sure. Keep an eye out on that. Uh, meanwhile, we are currently in another round uh, where we are, are raising around about uh, $15 million on a 100 mil uh, valuation. Um, hope to hear some good news on that in the next few weeks as well. So in, in, in a big way, we plan to have this covered across the globe. And, you know, although this is Web 2, Web 3, you are going to be doing a token as well. Definitely, because the entire ecosystem is based on our utility token. And that's where the earning part comes into play for the users. So we are actually bringing best of both worlds where people might not be that well versed with the Web 3 environment. So with the Web 2 element attached to it, it makes them easy to understand that being part of that journey. I would rather say the future revolution in terms of the gaming world, right? And that's where we are making it more inclusive overall in terms of the user base, whether that you be a hardcore gamer, an amateur gamer, interestingly, if you even not a gamer, you can still be a part of our ecosystem through our fantasy leagues. So actually further on the um, partnerships, I was thinking about like companies like Coca-Cola, Red Bull, all of these companies are big sponsors. Will they be coming to you and uh, sponsoring tournaments with you? So, uh, these tournaments and even the entire user base is a huge opportunity for any MNC or any brand to really tap into this huge user base. And it's not just region specific, it's a global opportunity. So uh, once we are uh, in a way fostering partnerships for sponsorships and all that, with tournaments happening throughout the year where they can have access to tap into this uh, humongously exciting user base of all these esports uh, users around the world, whether that be specific to a region, or whether that be on a global footprint. Thinking about the uh, sort of play to earn business model in uh, you know, Web3 games, actually it's not really existent in Web2 games, but with your token, effectively somebody can win some prize money and play to earn you know, on a traditional Web2 game like Fortnite, etc. Um, so there is a play to earn model in the token as well. Just maybe you can talk just ideas for the token on uh, earning. So. Uh, if you talk about the the token within our ecosystem, one part would obviously be gameplay, where you have an X amount of tokens to play X number of hours on the platform. That's, that's that's the simplest part of it. From the tournament part, that's pretty interesting because you use these tokens to participate um, on large uh, tournaments, whether that be uh, region specific or global as well, because we are solving the latency and the hardware issues. So we are even the art, so you can actually be part of a bigger uh, you know, um, segments of tournaments around the globe, right? Uh, so the user is not only uh, having the ability to earn as a prize money for the tournament, but obviously because we are also creating a huge demand globally in terms of our token. So there's an uplift as well for the user because it's not the amount that he's getting, he's also getting some appreciation on the amount that he's earning as well. So there's an uplift on that part as well. At the same time, there's a huge ecosystem in, uh, for their NFTs, for their avatars, uh, for their fantasy league. So, and the merchandise to follow in a few months as well, where we are enabling them to use that token within the ecosystem. So whosoever, I would rather say, there would be people pushing for token to play the actual tournament, but there would be people that would be interested to hold on to the tokens as well because there's a huge buying opportunity and earning opportunity within that phase itself. So final question, what advice would you give to uh, gamers that want to come onto your system and when does it likely launch? So my word to them would be just keep an eye on this. We are coming practically next quarter. 
it's an exciting time for us. You're going to love the experience, having the opportunity to play a game anywhere and anywhere from the world. At the same time, no limitation on hardware. Going to keep your pocket in check in terms of, of your expenses that you incur on gaming. I know how much it is being an original gamer and myself as well. But now you have an opportunity to earn out of it as well big time. So looking forward to having you all on our platform pretty soon. Perfect. Thank you.